Hello everybody, it's uh, Susan from D'Souza Art here, down under. It's a, uh, a rather dreary late August day here after some sunshine. So I thought, well, I've got some paintings that need to be cleaned ready for varnishing. So the weather is perfect for that. So what I'm going to take you through today is the process of cleaning silicon oil uh, off your paintings so that you can go ahead and varnish or resin them. I've got a couple of paintings here that, uh, that I used silicon oil in. And they've been curing for, golly, uh, probably a couple of months. I, I haven't been uh, working much on my artwork recently. Uh, so I would say that you would need to wait at least one month before you uh, start your cleanup process, the longer the better, because that just makes sure that your paint is fully cured and you're not going to lose too much of the color when you do your clean. So what is required? You'll need some old newspaper. You will need some warm soapy water. Now this can just be a dish washing liquid. That's what I've used. You will need some Windex. You will need some baby powder. Now you don't have to use baby powder. I like it because of the smell uh, and it's, it's a very, uh, very fine. But what the actual product is that you require is cornstarch. So you can get cornstarch from the baking aisle. Uh, this is just my preference. It's a bit more expensive, but it also comes in a nice, easy to use uh, container. You'll need a sponge. You'll need some paper towel. And you will need a, a soft bristle, bristle brush. You can see here that I've labeled this one powder just to make sure I don't use this brush for anything other than this project. You can see here there's still a little bit of residual powder on it that's coming off on my fingers. This is uh, what we use to, to remove the powder uh, after we've rubbed it into the painting. So let's get started. First up, we'll grab the first painting, get the warm soapy water, And we'll soak our sponge, very stiff one, the sponge. All right, now I'm squeezing this out a bit, but it's still going to be quite wet when I put it on. Now what you want to do, you want to rub over the top of the painting. You're not rubbing for dear life, but you're certainly making sure you get every inch of it. And you may notice some of the color starting to come off. Now that's okay. A little bit of the surface color is fine, but this is why we leave the painting to cure for at least a month. Otherwise you end up with too much paint coming off and then you lose your composition. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the orange is starting to come off there. Now, don't forget the sides because if you are planning on varnishing or resining the sides as well, you will get, in the case of resin, you will get pitting if you've still got any silicon oil left and you try to resin over the top of a, of a, a painting with, with the oil, the resin does not like it and it creates pits in the surface and they look awful. With varnish, it basically, the, the varnish reacts with it. It creates a pit as well, but it's not quite as noticeable. It's basically an area that the varnish 
runs away from. It doesn't like sitting there, so it just creates an, an empty space. All right. I think that's okay for that one. We'll now work on the smaller one. I do love these colours. I do tend to go towards blues, greens and golds. And you can see here the blue is coming off onto the sponge. I probably should have used a, a bucket or a larger bowl or container for my soapy water rather than my cup there. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'll just clean up my water spill here. So I'm going to just if this one has a little bit of soap left on this one I'll just give this a quick wipe with paper towel pop that to the side you can see some of the blue come off there okay the next step is the Windex. So I'll get a fresh piece of paper towel and I'm just going to squirt the Windex directly onto the paper towel, not onto the painting. A few squirts, make it damp and then same again. And look at the colour that's coming off. I cannot stress this enough. Do not try cleaning your painting too soon. Fluid art, unfortunately, is a game of patience. Once you've done your painting in the first place, you think, oh great, hard work's over. But there are many other steps to come if you want your painting to look as good as it can. And if you rush it, you'll ruin it, unfortunately. Sides again. The beauty about varnishing your paintings is that it really does bring out a depth of colour this painting here looks well, quite bland, I think, at the moment. I, had, I do have other ideas for this one. I'm going to uh, paint something over the top of this one, use this as a background. But the addition of the varnish will bring out the metallics that don't really come out quite so well when the painting dries. Okay, I'll pop that one aside. I'm just doing a... A look of this painting into the light usually you can see when you hold it up to the light whether you have any little oily residues and I can't see any on this so that's a good sign give it another squirt You may find that the painting starts to feel a little bit sticky as part of this process. That's okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. So what we'll do now 
just leave these paintings to completely dry now after after the first two cleaning processes probably about 15 minutes will do it depending on uh, what the temperature of your room is and if there's any airflow uh, and then we'll move into the baby powder stage see you soon okay I'm back uh, it's been about 20-25 minutes um, I've let these completely dry off can run my hand over it it doesn't feel sticky at all now and I've put some newspaper down ready to catch the baby powder so this is going to look really strange and I remember the first time that I did this I was really worried that I was about to ruin my painting but don't worry it's not going to so I am now just going to distribute a reasonable amount of powder over the top of the paintings. It smells fantastic. Some people use a brush for this next step, but I like to use my hands. We're now going to rub it in. The idea here is for the powder to absorb any of that surface oil that still remains after our cleaning process. What you may find as you work it through is that the texture of the powder changes. It starts very, very soft, but when it starts to absorb a little bit of an oil, a bit of the oil, it, uh, it gets quite granular. Now you want to make sure you go over every square centimetre of your painting. I'm going to just run the fingers just a little bit over the edge. And I'm going to go back again where I where I started just to be absolutely sure I've done everything I can to get rid of this oil which produces such a wonderful result in the painting but is a menace when it comes to the finishing steps of varnishing or resining a piece Now you can leave this powder on for a little bit of time. I wouldn't leave it on for hours. Some people leave it on for a long time. I'm really not convinced that leaving it on for an extended period of time actually makes any difference to the outcome. The process of working it in, as I'm demonstrating now, really seems to be what does the trick All right, let's move on to the smaller one, same again. Your hands will feel just wonderful after this process. Smooth as a baby's bum.
you can see here with this one the powder has really changed its texture as we've worked it through the painting all right now I'm going to brush off the powder so I'll just move this one out of the way start by tipping off the easy surface powder so here's the soft bristle bristle beg your pardon soft bristle brush that I use I only use it for this application and now we're going to work that into the painting as well and effectively what we're doing it's almost like a scrub and sweep type of emotion. So I'm scrubbing in circles and I'm pushing it off the edge of the painting. This brush, it's just a, a soft bristle brush that I got from Bunnings. You can get these from art stores. You could even use uh, a makeup brush. I don't wear makeup, so I didn't have one of those lying around the house. I prefer to paint on canvases, not on my face. That's just my own preference. All right, let's see if we can do the edges. So, that's looking pretty good. You would never have known that I had covered it with powder. Same again for the small one. Scrub and sweep. Certainly quicker on a smaller painting. Now when I hold this to the light, I cannot see any residue of silicon oil. It's not to say it isn't there. It is... Uh, very resilient. But this has definitely gone a long way to removing it. Okay, I'll pop that aside. Now, Our powdery paper out of the way. Brush off any other powder that's come off onto the table. And I need to wash my hands, get the powder off my hands for the final step. So I will pause it. And I'll be back with you in one moment. Okay, my hands are powder free. So now the final step is actually something that we've already done. So we'll get our warm soapy water again.
And just as we did before, we rub across the whole painting. There's still a bit of colour coming off. You can see how the colour changes when you wet the painting down. That's nothing compared to when you start to varnish it. Okay, sides. A little bit of blue still coming off. And then, as we did at the start, another piece of paper towel and a few squirts of Windex. This cleaning process is one reason why some people don't like to work with silicon oil. It's one of the techniques that I like, so I do it sometimes. I work without it for other techniques. For any of the homewares that I'm working on where I know I need a resin finish, I don't use silicon oil because what I have found is it doesn't matter how many times you go through this process, you still can't guarantee that you've gotten every last drop of oil and the impact that has on a resin finish is very, very stark. There's been a few times where I've done a painting with the silicon oil. I've varnished it, about six or seven coats of varnish, and then I've done a resin coat. That worked, but it's very, very slow. So I guess it comes down to just how much time you want to invest in every piece. And for me, that's more than enough. Okay, you can see some of the blue coming off there. So that's it. That's the process. Our two paintings have now been cleaned and are ready for the next stage, which is, for me, I'm going to varnish them. So I will uh, do a separate video showing my preference for varnishing these type of paintings. Some people go through this process that I've demonstrated today several times. I have trialled doing it several times versus just doing it the once, and I can't say that I get any measurably different results by doing it multiple times. So I just stick with the wash with soapy water, Windex, baby powder, scrape it off, wash with soapy water, Windex, that be done. I hope this helps. See you soon.